Thames Yacht Club Regatta opens with a race for large craft. Here's His Majesty's Yacht Britannia, on which the King himself takes command. The Yacht Britannia, designed by G.L. Watson, was built by Henderson's on the Clyde in 1893 for Queen Victoria's son, Albert Edward, Prince of Wales. She served him and his son, King George V, with a distinguished yachting and racing career. Both designer and builder made a fine job of the Prince's new yacht. It was said of Britannia that a better balanced and better built vessel never crossed the starting line. Yachting writers referred to her shape as the Britannia ideal. She was a handsome vessel. Henderson's built her light and strong, a perfect race yacht. Yachting journalist James Michael once wrote, so proud over the building of her were the men that the putting of her together was a real labor of love. Really, it was not difficult to imagine that the framework was woven together so beautifully were the many parts joined into and onto each other. Britannia had to be towed to Portsmouth Harbour and placed under the largest floating crane for her gigantic new mast be set up. It was the largest mast ever made as one spar for a ship. A silver spruce is 176 feet long and weighs over three tons. As a result of the change, Britannia will have to be fitted with a new suit of racing sails. And now that she is Bermuda rigged, a smaller crew will be required to handle her. During her racing career, which spanned over 40 years, in 635 races, she won 231 firsts out of a total of 350 prizes. By the end of her first year's racing, Britannia had scored 33 wins from 43 starts. In her second season, she won all seven races for the big class yachts on the French Riviera and then beat the 1893 America's Cup defender Vigilant in home waters. In January 1936, the British people mourned as King George V passed away. It was announced that in accordance with the late King's wishes, upon his death, Britannia would be stripped of her spars and fittings and scuttled. So, on the 10th of July 1936, her hull was picked up by HMS Winchester and towed out into St. Catherine's Deep near the Isle of Wight. There she was scuttled and sent to rest beneath the waves with a simple garland of flowers placed upon her stem head. 